Hallelujah. Thank you, mighty God. We sing all the praise, honor, and adoration unto your glorious name, Daddy. We worship you, mighty God. We worship you, Lord. We say be thou exalted, O Lord. We say be thou glorified in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's just begin to bless God today. Our God is good. He made this day possible for us. Let's give him praise. Let's worship him. Let's honor him. Let's adore him. Let's magnify his name. He's a wonderful father. The king of kings is his name. He is the I am that I am. He is the only one of Israel, the lion of the tribe of Judah. He is the one that is the was that will continue to be. Let's appreciate him today. We have picked this day and God made it to be a great day for us. God brought us to this day. It's not by power, nor by might, but by his own spirit. Daddy, we thank you. Daddy, we worship you. Lord, we honor you. We magnify your holy name. We say be thou we exalted in the mighty name of Jesus. You have been so good to us. Father, we give you praise. Thank you, Father, for keeping us, O oh Lord, even from the last minute we, meeting we had in May up to this moment, O oh Lord. Thank you, Father, for making this meeting again possible for us, O oh Lord. Father, we appreciate you, Lord. Daddy, we give you praise. We say be thou exalted in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, Lord, even for all that you have said to do with us today and to do for us, O oh Lord, and to do among us. Father, Lord, you will bring them to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord God Almighty, your hands, O Lord, shall rest upon this meeting today in the name of Jesus. Father, you are said to touch us today. You are said to bless us today. Father, you are said to do us good today in the mighty name of Jesus. We commit everyone you have ordained to be a part of this program into your hands. 
Father, Lord, let them begin to log in right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, no, we'll be held back by any disturbance, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Because you have proposed it, O oh Lord, Father, they will all come in the name of Jesus. They will all log in, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, today, our heart desire is to pray concerning our nation, Nigeria. Father, you will speak to us, speak to our heart, O oh Lord. Father, the word from your throne room of grace, Father, you will speak to us today. In the name of Jesus, thank you for your servant that you have said to speak to us today. You will speak to him. You will give him words. You will give him utterances. He will not speak in the enticing words of man's wisdom, O oh Lord. Flesh will not prevail. In the name of Jesus, your spirit, O oh Lord, will take absolute control. Your spirit will speak, O oh Lord, even through him. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will touch our heart, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, Father, today we are your oracles, O oh Lord. And as we declare concerning Nigeria, so shall you do for us in the name of Jesus. Those things that you want us to know, O oh Lord, Father, you will bring, O oh Lord, even to our heart, O oh Lord, today in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, because we know it is well with Nigeria in the name of Jesus. Father, we worship you. We honor you, Lord. Thank you, Father. We give you praise, O oh Lord, for that which you are said to do for us today. We magnify your holy name. For in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. We worship you, mighty God. Hallelujah. And let us begin to lift up our voices this morning and begin to cry out unto the Lord in reverence. Hallelujah. And in worship. Hallelujah. Let the living water flow over my soul. Oh, Let thy Holy Spirit come and take control of every situation that have troubled my mind all my cares and worries unto you 
I rose, sing Jesus, Jesus, we call you, Jesus, Jesus, calling Father, Father, we call you, Father, 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 calling Spirit, Spirit, call you, Spirit, 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 lay the living water, lay the living water, flow over my soul. Lay thy Holy Spirit, come and take control of every situation that have troubled my mind. All my cares and worries unto you we roll. All our cares and worries unto you, Daddy, we roll. That is we are gathered today that is the reason that we have come today to bow our knees and stand in our position to make a declaration to make a decree to speak unto the ends of the earth that is the reason and the purpose of our gathering and without taking much of our time we have positioned ourselves we have prayed before him we have sanctified ourselves by the blood through the opening prayer this morning. And today, let us begin to position ourselves before him in the mighty name of Jesus. For we do not know how to pray. The Bible says he make it intercession. Oh, he make an intercession for us. And so we present ourselves and position ourselves like the armies that are enlisted for battle, like the army that are enlisted for war in the mighty name of Jesus. When you come in a battle array, it is not a time to be distracted. It's not a time to know who is by your side. It's a time to be focused. We are in battle array to this afternoon and we are going to make pronouncements in the name of Jesus. Jesus, not from a place of fear, not from a place of timidity, but from a place of authority and power. And we have our bottom captain tonight, uh, this afternoon, hallelujah. There is one in front of us as he's marching forward, we are following. In the name of Jesus, I'm just here to prep you as soldiers, to tell you, get ready, get your artillery, get ready, get your weapon of warfare. In the name of Jesus, it's not just a one-man show. But we are in this battalion and we are going to war together this afternoon in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And it's my pleasure this afternoon to uh, 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 present to us and introduce to us. I'm introducing to some and presenting to others. No other person that is in front of us to guide us uh, with the help of Jesus and the Holy Spirit, our intercessor. Mm -hmm. Reverend, hallelujah, Michael Tosin, uh, Oni Tosin, uh, this afternoon, a man that I call a gentle, a, a gentle giant in the kingdom, hallelujah, a man that I so much interested in the spirit of this man, the spirit of, of gentleness and, and, and the spirit of humility, but right inside of him, he carries so much power that if you don't take time, you will, you will not notice it, but if you have the spirit of God and you are the one that is moved and led by the spirit, you will know that the Lord has positioned him, even in this season in our generation. So without wasting our time because we are meaning business, we are here to mean business this afternoon. I will yield unto you, man of God, for you to take us. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Pra Praise the Lord. I don't know about you all. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. We give God the praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, Pastor Antonio, I want to thank you for this uh, privilege and this great honor um, you know, to be part of this uh, program and uh, not taking it uh, for granted. Uh, you could have reached out to so many men of God within and around you, but it has pleased the Holy Spirit to direct you 
uh, uh, to invite me. And I pray that um, God alone will take all the glory Amen. in the name of Jesus. I want to thank God for what you are doing. And I pray more of God's grace upon your life. Amen. I pray that the eye God has ordained for you in this is calling upon your life. You will get there. Amen. A blessing you will continue to be. Your ministry will go beyond, you know, your widest Amen. imagination, Amen. much more than you can think of. The Lord will take your ministry there. And as every member uh, of his, in his loving hands, I pray that God that has brought you together will continue to unite you, Amen. uphold you, and perfect you. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you for another opportunity to come before you as your children. We thank you for your grace upon our lives that has not been frustrated. We thank you for your loving kindness that has not ceased towards us. Mm -hmm. We thank you for your mercies that endure forever that we enjoy. We are so grateful. We have you as our God. We have you as our Father. Thank you for a day like this. It has pleased you. You have gathered us together that we may lift our voices unto you. Mm -hmm. While we are here praying, you have heard. Before we finish speaking, you have answered. Yes, Lord. Faithful is you that has promised. Who will do that that you said that you would do? So in advance, we return all the glory unto you. Mm -hmm. Even Lord God, as we commit the process into your hands, continue to lead us in accordance to your will. Let your will be done. Let your purpose be fulfilled. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Um, le let me join my voice to as many that have uh, received that uh, wonderful uh, message of uh, Happy Democracy Day. So let us key into the celebration uh, of Democracy Day for our nation, Nigeria, that we are interceding for. Um, the assignment given me is for us to uh, um, lead a prayer for the nation, but I'm going to be charging us uh, in the course of my administration, and we are going to be praying in the spirit. Uh, we all in our different location. God is not limited by distance nor by space. So we are connected in agreement. Our spirit is one, is united, and I believe that God in heaven has heard us and there shall be confirmation of his word in our lives and in our nation in the name of Jesus. I would like to approach this assignment, you know, you know the area in three areas, um, namely our, our gratitude. I want us to, if you can jot it down, our gratitude, then our challenges, the second one, our challenges, and the third one will be our decree. Our gratitude, our challenges, our decree. For some time, about two weeks ago, I've been thinking along the line that we should go. And each time that I get the revelation, I've been jotting down and um, I, I try to put everything together. I pray that the Holy Spirit will grant us the, the speed in Jesus' name. Amen. There is no doubt in Nigeria today, we have different groups, you know, depending on the camp they have. But the key thing is that it's supposed to be a day of celebration, a day of rejoicing. And I believe that people are truly celebrating. It is worth celebrating. It is worth celebrating our nation and the experience we've had so far in democracy. It is for rejoicing and celebration. In all things, we should give thanks. That is his will consigning us in Christ Jesus, according to the scripture. So let, that is where I'm starting with our gratitude. Our gratitude. In Psalm 107, Psalm 107, when you read, you know, uh, um, is a long verse, but if you just take from verses four to eight, it says that um, the psalmist said, Psalm chapter 107 from verse four, uh, the psalmist was, was, was giving uh, uh, some kind of testimony, giving an account of what has happened to the people of God, the experiences they've had. He said, they wonder from verse four, they wandered in the wilderness in a solitary way 
They found no city to dwell in. They were hungry and thirsty. They are so fainted in death. Then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them out of their distresses. And he led them forth by the right way that they might go to a city of habitation. But I said, say, oh, that men will praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Hallelujah. A careful study of that chapter 107, you will see the psalmist, you know, was pointing our attention to so many experiences. The experiences we go through in life and, you know, the reasons why we should praise and give thanks to God. It will give a description of each experience. And at the end of each, the psalmist says, oh, that men will praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. My dearly people of God, we must not fall into the sin of ingratitude, no matter what. That is why I'm speaking this prayer with our gratitude. There is no doubt that we can, you know, we can go ahead and begin to magnify the problems, glorifying the devil that our nations are going through. All that is wrong with our nation, Nigeria, we can take a book and begin to write. But what about the things that are good about the Nigeria as a nation? What about the good things that God has done for us and that God is still doing? No matter what we are seeing today, God has been good to Nigeria and God has been merciful to our nation, Nigeria. It could have been worse. It could have been worse. In, in Psalm 124, Psalm chapter 124, when you read from verse, the, the entire, uh, you know, chapter. He said, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, let Nigeria now say, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us, then they would have swallowed us alive. When their wrath was kindled against us, then the waters would have overwhelmed us. The stream would have gone over our soul. Then the swollen waters will have gone over our soul. Blessed be the Lord who has not given us as prey to their teeth. Our soul has escaped as a bird from the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken and we have escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and the head. Praise the Lord. Beloved, whatever we are seeing or hearing now about our nation, we can still thank God. Just a few months ago, a few months ago, it was COVID-19 that was ravaging the world. No more, nobody remember that problems anymore. Even at that period, we did not know any other thing that we were praying for was for God's mercy upon the land that this issue must not get to Nigeria the way it was ravaging the whole nations. Millions died all over the world, but God, but God, but God showed forth for Nigeria. Even the people in advanced countries, they were afraid that if this issue hit Africa, Nigeria being the most populous nation, but God showed forth. What can we say? Even in the days of Ebola, when it was imported to Nigeria, that disease will have ravaged the entire Nigeria would have just been like Somalia, but God never had allowed it. He never had allowed it. We were always standing and asking God to have mercy upon Nigeria. What can we say about the 2015 election? The prediction was that that would be the last election in Nigeria. Why? Nigeria will break by reason of that election. But the election came, but God showed up. The things that are happening in Nigeria, they were not up to the things that happened in Rwanda and genocide was set loose. They were not up to the things that happened in Liberia that millions were killed. They were not up to half of the things that happened in Somalia and Sudan that led to massive destruction of lives. 
What can we say about hunger and drought that had ravaged so many African countries? But God showed up for Nigeria. Nigeria is still standing as a nation. We must always appreciate whatever God is doing for us. We still have a nation that we call our own. We still have a place we are still united, no matter what the people are saying. We are still united. We still travel. We still come back. Yes, we hear stories, but God has been there for Nigeria. I want us to just lift up our voice and bless the name of God for Nigeria. Let not fall into the sin of ingratitude. Let's appreciate God for great and mighty things that God has done for us as a nation. Yes, we might not be enjoying the best, but somebody rightfully put it in years back that the worst civilian is better than the best military regime. But we are still there. We are still there in Nigeria. Hold that men who praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Yes, do let us have short memory concerning the mighty move of God upon Nigeria. We thank God, we thank God, we thank God for what God is doing. Let's open our mouth and appreciate God. Let's give God the praise that is due to him on account of that great nation. Nigeria is still reckoned with all over the world, no matter what. People are still trooping to Nigeria, people are still trooping out. Let's give God the praise. It is the Lord's way. It is marvelous in our eyes. There is something that is upholding that nation, and that thing is the power of God, is the mercy of God, is the grace of God. Let's open our mouth and just give God the praise that we appreciate you, mighty Father. We thank you. We thank you. We are not unmindful of the great and mighty thing you are doing in the land. We are not unmindful of the great and mighty things you have done before, the deliverance you have done for us as a nation. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We cannot recount it all. Your blessing upon the nation. Oh, we cannot recount it all. The deliverance you have done for us in Nigeria. We cannot recount it all. Thank you. Thank you, Father Lord God. We are not ungrateful. We are not unmindful of what you are doing. We are grateful. 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 You are a faithful father. Thank you, Lord God, you have not abandoned us. You've not allowed the enemy to perform the enterprise concerning Nigeria. You've been good to us. You proved your faithfulness over the land. We thank you. We thank you. Thank you. What about the unseen battle you fought for us? Daddy, we thank you. We thank you. Whatever that is ravaging the land, it could have been worse, but because you are still in control. We thank you, King of Glory. We bless your holy name. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you, Father. Thank you for various manifestations of your grace upon the land. Thank you, Father, Lord God, for the various sectors. Thank you for what you are doing. You said in all things we should give thanks, for that is your will concerning us in Christ Jesus. We thank you. We thank you for what you have done. Thank you, Father, for elections that are taking place. Thank you, Father, Lord God, for people that you have put in church, people that will have overrun the country. Thank you, Father, Lord God, we are still gathering. We, are, we still go to our churches. We still yes. gather to pray. We thank you. We still go to the market. Thank you, Father, Lord God, for what you are doing. Thank you for putting the enemy in, in, in check. Thank you for not allowing the wicked one to perform the enterprise concerning Nigeria. We give you all the praise. Amen. Blessed be your holy name. In yes. Jesus' name, we are giving thanks. Amen. Hallelujah. We are thanking God for democracy. It's a democracy day. They call it June 12th, democracy day. Let's thank God. Like I said, the worst of democracy is better than the best of a military rule. Let's be sincere with ourselves. It is the Ogun state. In Ogun state, is an Ogun state man that is ruling Ogun state. It is not an Awusa man. In Abia, it is the man from Abia that is ruling Abia. It is not an Aousa man. In Edo, it is the man from Edo that is ruling Edo. It is not the full animal. Let's thank God for democracy. Let's go give up. We appreciate what God has done. It might not be the best, but God is still there sustaining it, sustaining it for us. It has not made the democracy to be overturned. We can still, we have hope. In the next two years, we are going to gather again and use the power of our votes. We are going to decide who is going to rule us again. It is the Lord's will. Let's give God the praise for democracy that is ruling Nigeria. Call it whatever you want to call it. It is still our people that are there. Oh, let's give God the praise for democracy in Nigeria. 
Let's thank God for what God is doing. God is not unaware of what we are going through and is in charge. He is the one that ruled upon the affairs of men. Father, we thank you. For after you have brought us in democratic rule in Nigeria, we thank you, Lord God, because we called upon your name then and you helped us. And here we have, Father, Lord God, the journey so far. We thank you. We can look back and say it has been by your grace. We can look back that it can only be you. Thank you, Father, for the way you have sustained the nation. Thank you, Father, for the way you have upheld the nation. Thank you, Father, Lord God, for men and women you have raised, Father, to be in the affairs of the nation. Daddy, we know you are in charge. You are the one that rules upon the affairs of men. And we give you all the praise. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name, we are giving thanks. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. My second area of ministration is, our, is just that one about our challenges. Hallelujah. Jesus. About our challenges. No doubt, if I, if I ask everybody to be talking about challenges, <laughs> we all believe that there are so many challenges that we face as a nation. Start a conversation with anyone or any group on Nigeria. You will leave the place with sadness. People will remind you of insecurity. People will talk about banditry. They will talk about kidnapping. They will talk about the bad economy. They will talk about the government. They will talk about our leaders. They will talk about the every aspect of the, of the country. They will talk about the roads, infrastructure. They will talk about the schools, the academic system. They will talk about our judiciary. We all have something to say about Nigeria. The recent one is the agitators, the separationists, the ones that say that we have it to your tent, to Israel. What can you say about the economy? So much we have that, that as challenges facing our nation. I, I was listening to the man the other day and was telling us the, 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 the kind of the, 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 the uh, crude oil that we are producing now, the amount that we are selling and to feed the entire population. What can we say about the people, the people of Nigeria, you and I, in the, time, in the, in the, in the areas of integrity? What can we say about an average person in that land? We all have so much to say about Nigeria. The problems are countless. We are complaining and we are agitating and we are praying somehow. That is why I'm looking at Jeremiah chapter 8, verse 22. Jeremiah chapter 8, verse 22. He said, is there no bam in Gilead? Is there no physician there? Why then is there no recovery for the health of the daughter of my people? This was the question in the heart of prophet Jeremiah in the days that so much evil and pains prevailed in the land. When it appeared as if nothing was working, it appeared as if evil had dominated the land. His cry was that, is there no more balm in Gilead? For he knew that the balm of Gilead was to bring relief and bring healing. He asked if there were no more physicians in the land, and there was bam in Gilead. There were physicians in the land. He asked, why is there no relief in the land? Why is there no recovery? When you want to appreciate this scripture, when you read it from the New Living Translation, the New Living Translation of that Jeremiah chapter 8, verses 21 and 22 say, I, I weep for the heart of my people. I stand amazed, silent, dumb with grief. Is there no medicine, medicine in Gilead? Is there no physician there? Why doesn't God do something? Why doesn't God help? Beloved, the above scenarios or lamentation is equally applicable to our present day Nigeria. Is there no ban any money in the land? Are there no more prophets in the land? Why is there no recovery in the land? Does it mean that God has turned his back to the land? Or why is he not as free us anymore? But what we should know and what I found out 
is that we have all violated all the spiritual principles in the land and we still want God to come through for us. So the problems even transcend beyond the people, even the church. With all due respect, with every sense of humility, I am a national officer of the Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria. Since the days of uh, Pastor Yorisha Jeffo, I was in this executive for five, four years. I was in the executive of Papa Feli Somopute for eight years at the national level that we meet pastors all over the nation. When we gather and when we talk, it's as if we are politicians. We talk as politicians. We all have our preferences. We are pastors, but we have political, you know, uh, 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 um, uh, leaning sort of. So it, whatever we pray for is whatever we want to see that should come to pass, not what God decides. We want to rule, overrule whatever God decides because that is, it, it has not met with our expectation. Yeah, God said, your thoughts are not my thoughts. Your ways are not my ways. We have violated every spiritual principle. We will stand on the pulpit and say, let us pray for our nation. We will ask the people to join hands. We will declare all manners of declaration. But as soon as we come from the pulpit, the next conversation is that Nigeria, oh, that country, hey, get us it be. That is the sin that we have been committing. So it's not as if there is no bam in Gilead. It's because we have not allowed the bam of Gilead to operate. When we begin to look at the, the scriptures that we quote, we can see that we are not doing what God expected us to do, even at this time. Thank God for this initiative. I believe God is calling our attention. A lot of us have been talking along this direction. That how do we blow hot and blow cold? Most of us are guilty of it. We want it to be in our own way. We want to decide for God how God will do it. We have forgotten all about the scripture of God and allow God to sort us out. Our, our own is to stand and make declaration and say, God, nevertheless, have your way. Let your will be done. Jesus Christ said that I will that this cup will pass over me. That was his desire. I said, but God, you are in control. Have your way. Let your will be done. He said, for my thoughts are not your thoughts. Neither are your ways my ways. For as the heavens are higher than the head, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. Beloved, God is still in control of the affairs of men and likewise is still in the control of affairs of Nigeria. Romans 13, Romans 13 verses 1 and 2. He said, let every soul be subject to the governing authorities. For there is no authority except from God and the authorities that exist are appointed by God. Therefore, whoever receives the authority receives the ordinance of God. And those who receive will bring judgment on themselves. The scripture cannot be broken. God doesn't need our help. He can rule. He can install. He can dethrone. Every instrument, every creation of God, they are instruments in the hands of God. He raised Pharaoh for a purpose. He raised Pharaoh for a purpose. Every, everyone that is in authority, God raised them for a purpose. Ours is to subject to the governing authorities. First Timothy 2, he said, Therefore I exhaust, first of all, that supplication, prayers, intercessor, and giving of thanks be made for all men, for kings and for all who are in authority that we may live a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and reverence. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God, our Savior. I ask them in PFM meeting, that is our role. Not to have preference. This is our role as the mouthpiece of God, as the oracle of God. Let's make supplications. Let's pray that they may rule well. Let's stand in the gap that the people in authority will not perform their agenda for God's agenda. That is what God expects of us. Second Chronicles 7.14 that we all love quoting. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves, humble themselves, we all ignore that, that aspect. Humble themselves. We jump to and pray and seek my face 
and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven. If we turn from their wicked ways, wickedness will reign in the land. We, have, we should concentrate on that aspect of we humbling ourselves, we you know, praying against wickedness in the land. Then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and heal their land. Which of these scriptures that we have applied fully to our nation? Rather, we are taking positions on what must be done, what we want to be done. I believe that we must truly really humble ourselves as expected by God and see God's face and pray and turn from our wicked ways. That is when we shall begin to experience healing in the land. The place of humility is the place of submission to the will of God. It is not that we're just confessing it. We're accepting the will of God. The place of humility is a place of unity and oneness in agreement. Even as, as people of God, we do not even agree on the direction of prayers for our land. The place of humility is a place of prayers as expected by God, not, not prayers of sentiment. We are expected to pray for healing in the land and not to complain and glorify the devil. We are expected to decree righteousness, godliness, peace, and healing in the land. Let us stop glorifying the devil with our negative confessions. Let us bury hunger. Let our prayer be, let anger be buried in Nigeria. Let our bitterness come to an end. Let every form of hatred cease. Let us make our mind, you know, free from sentiment so we can enjoy the assistance of the Holy Spirit to help us to pray for our nation. Let us team up and fight the common enemy of our nation and stop fighting the imaginary enemy. If Nigeria does not have anything good, the wicked forces will not be attacking Nigeria. The man that has the ball in his feet is the one that people run after. If there is nothing good in Nigeria, it will not be an onslaught. Ephesians 6, 12, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of the world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. If they are physical, like we have all called our attention to, as if that it is physical uh, battle we are fighting. No, it's their imagery. The one we see that we are saying that it should fall down and die. It's just the imagery. I want us to pray with sincerity and humility for Nigeria today. Prayer that are devoid of sentiment. Prayer of God's mercy upon the land. Prayer of forgiveness for the land. Prayer of God's divine intervention in the affairs of Nigeria. Let's make it our prayer. Let's make it our prayer that God should truly forgive our sin. The sin of the church, the sin of our rulers, the sin of the populace. Every, every nation deserves the kind of the ruler they get. The ruler comes. The ruler is a product of the society. Angels will not rule us. Angels will not rule us. Let us pray. God should forgive our sin. Let God have mercy upon the land. Let God help us. Let God teach us humility, how to humble ourselves. The way God expected us to humble ourselves. How to forsake our wicked ways. Let's pray. With God, all things are possible. With God, all things are possible. Let's make it our prayer this morning. Let's make it our prayer this morning that God should have mercy upon the land. Let God forgive us as a church. Forgive us as his servant. We are, we have left undone things we ought to do. We are, we have done things we are not supposed to do. Mercy, mercy of God. Let it be our cry tonight. Mercy, 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 mercy. Father is mercy we cry for. You are the Lord that is rich in mercy. Have mercy upon the land. Forgive our sin. Forgive our sin. Forgive our sin. The sin of our leader, the sin of our rulers. The sin of the people. Father, Lord God, forgive us. Forgive us. Have mercy. It's your mercy we cry unto. Daddy, do not look upon our wickedness, but look upon your mercy upon that nation. Let mercy prevail. Let mercy speak for us. Forgive the land. Forgive the land. 
Forgive us, forgive us. Where we have been negligent, where we have shed innocent blood, where we have been complacent. Father, Lord God, forgive us. Have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Where we have failed to stand in the gap for the people that are in authority. Where we have failed, Father, Lord God, to support them with our prayers. Father, have mercy. Where we have let undone things we ought to be doing. Father, have mercy. Have mm. mercy, have mercy, right. have mercy. There is nothing that is too difficult for you to do, oh Lord. We therefore stand in the gap for the nation. We mm. ask for your divine intervention. Mm. Let's begin to pray divine intervention in the affairs of Nigeria. Is the one that rules upon the affairs of men. He is in control from the north to the south, from the east to the west. He is in control. He is our God. He has the Nigeria in the palm of his hands. Father, Lord God, we stand in the gap. We thank you for mercy. We thank you for forgiveness. We thank you, Lord God, for the grace to turn from our wicked ways. We thank you for the enablement, Father, to do what is right. Thank you, Lord God, for your touch upon the individuals in the country, the led and, and, and the people in authority. Thank you, Lord God, for the change of heart. Thank you for making us, Father, to be better citizens. Thank you for making us, Father, Lord God, to live, Father, Lord God, every of our evil ways, our wicked ways. Daddy, we thank you. We thank you, Father. We give you all the praise, oh Lord, because you are in control. Daddy, we pray for the right spirit, the spirit that you expect of us as far as standing in the gap for our nation is concerned. Daddy, Lord God, give us your spirit from the pews to the pulpit. From the puppy to the pews, Father, Lord God, give us that grace to do what is expected of us, to pray the way you want us to pray. In the mighty name of Jesus, Daddy, we thank you. Nigeria is in your hand. Let your will be done. Let your kingdom come. In the name of Jesus, whatever you are doing in the, at this time, Father, you are in charge. You are in control. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. And my last challenge is our decree. I've talked about our, our, our gratitude, our challenges. The challenges are cut across, but we focus only in one direction. And now our decree, Job 22, 27 to 30. Job 22 from 27. He said, thou shalt make thy prayers unto him, and he shall hear thee. And thou shalt pay thy vows. Thou shalt also decree a thing, and it shall be established unto thee. And the light shall shine upon thy ways. When men are cast down, then thou shalt say, there is lifting up, and it shall save the humble person. It shall deliver the highland of the innocent, and it is delivered by the pureness of thy hands. Hallelujah. He has made us prince and kings. He has given us the, the power. Whatsoever we decree on earth, heaven approves of it. Whatsoever we disapprove on earth, heaven disapproves of it. He has made us to be the mouthpiece of God, to speak, to decree righteousness. Our decree should be the one that will sound as a smith smell in silver in the eyes of God. Our decree be the one that God will be proud of us and say, my children are praying for the nation. Not a prayer of fall down and die. Not a prayer of fear. Every, every message they send to you these days, somebody woke up in, in Ghana, somebody slept in India, and when he sleep, and he saw some people overrunning the nation, they are doing this, and they sent to me that, what is my view? I say, God is still in control. Is the one that ruleth upon the affairs of men. When God reveals anything to a man of God, it's because he has dealt with it. He reveals to deal with it. He does not reveal to give us fear. I said, all you need to do is to thank God because God has revealed to us. And what should you do is that God thank you because we know you are in control. Beloved, let us team up together to decree against every form of fear in the land. I want us to make it a prayer, uh, your prayer. God has not given us the spirit of fear. He has given us the spirit of love, the spirit of power, and the spirit of soundness of mind. Let us pray every form of fear. Let us take authority over it. Fear will not dominate us in that land. Fear, no, fear will not rule us in, the, in, in that land. We will not entertain fear. We will not accept every lie of the devil. 
in the name of we are not made for fear we are made for victory we are people of faith let us put an end to fear in the land open your mouth and begin to decree it no more fear in the land no more fear no more fear no we will not accept fear as a way of life in the mighty name of Jesus, the fear that we pass from one level to the other that has emboldened those that are ravaging the country. They know that we are living in fear, so they are taking advantage of it. No more fear. Let the spirit of fear in the, in the land crumble. Every spirit that is responsible for propagating fear in our mind, let us come against it. No more. In the mighty name of Jesus, let us make righteous decree that fear will not rule our heart. We will not live in fear. We will not live in fear. We will not live in fear. In the name of Jesus, we will exercise boldness. We exercise power. We will stand in faith and make righteous decree over the land. In the name of Jesus, a heart that is fearful cannot decree righteously. A, fear, a heart that is fearful cannot spray the, the mind of God. Let us pray. Fear will not rule over the church. Fear will not rule over us. In the mighty name of Jesus, let us decree godliness in the land. Let us decree godliness in the land. Let us decree godliness. Godliness will reign in the land. Righteousness will be established in the land. Fear of God will be established in the hearts of men. Make it our decree tonight. It will please God that that is what we are decreeing. We are not decreeing that anyone, anyone should fall down and die. We are decreeing that righteousness will reign in Nigeria. Righteousness will reign from up to bottom, from bottom to the head. In the name of Jesus, righteousness will reign in the land. Fear of God will reign in the land. Godliness will reign in the land. In the mighty name of Jesus, the word of God said, righteousness exalted the nation. But sin is a reproach to my to any people. Let us decree that righteousness will reign in the land. Righteousness, that is our decree. Righteousness in the land. When righteousness reigns, the Lord will, the, the, the heart of men will be turned to God. When godliness reigns, we will do the right thing. In the mighty name of Jesus. When fear of God reigns from, from top to bottom, fear of God in the hearts of those that are ruling us. Godliness in the heart of those that are ruling us and the people that are being ruled. Fear of God for people that are being ruled. In the mighty name of Jesus. Godliness in the land. Let us decree unity. Let us decree unity. Let us decree oneness in the land. Let us decree love. Let us decree peace. Oh, Makate Boshanda. We will remain one. We will be united to fight our common enemy in the land. In the name of Jesus, Father, we speak oneness in Nigeria. We speak the spirit of unity in Nigeria. No more division. No more division. No more tribal sentiment. No more tribalism. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we speak unity in the land. We speak unity in the land. We decree unity. Let us begin to decree peace. Let us begin, begin to decree peace. In, in, in Psalm 122, Psalm chapter 122, when you read from verses 6 and 7, it said, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. That Jerusalem is, is your own nation. Nigeria is our own Jerusalem. He said, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Pray for the peace of Nigeria. He said, they shall prosper that love thee. Those that love Nigeria shall prosper. When you pray for the peace, verse 7 says, Peace be within thy walls and prosperity within thy palaces. Let us decree the will of God upon Nigeria. The will of God in Nigeria is that we will, we will live together as, as God's people. We will live in oneness of heart, in unity, in harmony. That is God's will for us. Let's begin to pray. Let's begin to pray against division. Let's begin to pray against tribal sentiment. I was, I was talking to a man of God. He asked me a question. He said, have we ever, since you've been coming to America, been, have we ever come across an Awusa man? I said, in Lagos, do you come across an Awusa man? He said, yes. I said, your idea of an Awusa is the wheelbarrows. Your idea of an Awusa man is the security man. Your idea of an Awusa man is the malam. I said, there are decent Awusa people. There are decent Fulani people like you and I that have families, bankers, they are industrialists, they are engineers, they are doctors, they are scientists. Why do we have allowed sentiment to be cloud us as if that every Awusa man is a wheelbarrow pusher? It's because we do not understand ourselves. Let decree understanding. We will live beyond sentiment. I've lived in Kaduna, I've gone to Abuja, I've worked in Abuja, I've been to Bida, I did my YC in, in, in Niger State. I lived in, in Kaduna for about two years. I've worked in Abuja. I have friends across the nation. My sister is married to an Igbo person. I said, so why are we not talking about division? 
that will bring to your tent, O Israel, is lack of understanding. Let God unite us. Let's decrease unity. Let's decree peace. Because we have people that are, that are in government that are not doing what we want for now. They are at lifespan. They have that they, everything has an end. Everything has a lifespan. Here we endured for a man. After four years, we voted him out. Why are we not able to do the same thing? Why can't you wait and vote the person out? Let's pray unity. Let's pray harmony in Nigeria. Let's pray that common sense will reign in the mighty. Let's decree it. It's a decree we are making at this moment. Decree, decree it. Decree that the terror will come to an end. God, God, mighty Criminality will come to an end. Oh, Kidnapping will come to an end. The agitation in the name name of Jesus. We thank God. We thank God. Let's give God the praise. Let's just bless God. Let's just bless God. He has said us much more than we can pray. We do. He's a prayer answering Father. Father, we thank you. We thank you, Father. We put an end to every form of criminality, every form of wickedness. We declare an end to it in the name of Jesus. We declare an end to bad leadership in Nigeria. We declare an end to bad government in Nigeria. We decree godliness in Nigeria. We decree an end to banditry. We declare an end to kidnapping. We declare an end to hunger, poverty in the land. In the mighty name of Jesus, let's decree that you and I, we shall see the Nigeria of our dream. Nigeria of good economy. Nigeria of safety. Nigeria of unity. Nigeria of love. Nigeria of harmony. Nigeria where things work with men. Things are, might be impossible, but with God, all things are possible. By reason of agreement this day, we shall see the Nigeria of our, in our own lifetime. Nigeria, Nigeria of our dream. Nigeria that we are proud of. Nigeria that we can refer to and say, oh, this is my nation. We shall see it. Devil is a liar. That devil is a liar. Devil will silence you. We declare your rule over Nigeria has come to an end. In the mighty name of Jesus, in our lifetime, we shall see the Nigeria of peace, Nigeria of unity, Nigeria of harmony, Nigeria of good government, Nigeria of good leadership, Nigeria of good people, in the name of Jesus, Nigeria of people with integrity, Nigeria of people with hard work, Nigeria of of, of, of faithfulness, Nigeria of sincerity, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We bless your holy name. Honor our faith tonight. Honor our faith as we have called upon your name. Let testimony follow. Arise, O Lord, and let your enemy be scattered. Let the enemies of Nigeria be scattered. Let the wasters in the land be wasted. Let the spoilers in the land be spoiled in the name of Jesus. Every tree you have not planted in the land, we command you to wither. In the name of Jesus, Nigeria, we decree peace over you. Nigeria, we say it is well with you. Nigeria, we decree peace. We decree peace. We say it is well with you. In the mighty name of Jesus, no more will we blow any terrible thing concerning you as a nation. It is well with you. It is well with you. It is well with nation Nigeria. Father, we thank you. Blessed be your holy name. We give you all the praise, Lord. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Pastor. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm minding over to you. Thank you, Thank ma. Thank you. The Lord bless you, sir. <clears throat> Thank you, ma. The Lord bless you. As the man of God was ministering, I was led in my spirit. I know that um, Evangelist Jude will be rounding us up. But is there any pastor that is here? We want to give you one minute to also place a decree. Hallelujah. Is there any man? I know that Pastor Boniface, I saw you earlier. If you're there, please unmute your device and also place a mini decree like our pastor have done. And then we will continue in the name of Jesus. All the glory must be to the Lord, for he is worthy of all praise. No one on earth should give glory to themselves. All the glory must be. All the glory must be Kaya Matsuka Talaba. All the glory must be to the Lord. We'll take it one more time. And Pastor Boniface, please, if you're there, your video is muted. 
Okay. You can just sure. unmute yourself and decree one minute decree, one minute declaration, one minute pronouncement over the Hallelujah. life, over our All nation right. in I'm the name here. of Jesus. Yeah. All the glory Amen. must be to the Lord, Amen. for you are worthy of oh. all praise. No one on it should give glory to themselves. All the glory he must be to the Lord. All the glory must be to the Lord. Go ahead, Pastor. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Our God is a good God. Thank you so much. Uh, Pastor, thank you so much, Reverend, for all the prayers that we have lifted up before God. I just want to add my voice to that you know, just as we have prayed to God this morning. God is a faithful God. He hears prayers. Every intention in the heart of men against Nigeria will not stand. Every evil Amen. intention, every evil plan, whatever they are planning it whatever they are doing. We don't care what people are saying about our nation. We care about what God is saying. Just as the Reverend has said, God okay. is saying yes. good about our nation. His thought concerning Nigeria is good. So I want you to declare, join me this moment and just declare the minds of God concerning Nigeria. Every plan, every desire of the wicked one concerning our land will not stand in the name of Jesus. Let's lift up our voice and we declare it now in the name that above all name, Jesus Christ, the son of the living God, every plan that is not of God, everything that is not of God, you say whatever tree that you have not planted is not permitted to stand. And so Lord God, today, oh God, we join our faith together and we decree, oh Lord, this moment that every plan that is evil, concerning the land of Nigeria. Lord Jesus, oh God, as a people, we join our faith and we make this declaration that such plan, oh God, will come to north today in the name of Jesus. We silence the voices, oh God, that speak wickedness upon the land. We silence the voices that speak evil upon the land. And we declare that, Lord, it is well with Nigeria Today, in the name of Jesus, we declare that we have the best democracy in the land. We declare that, Lord, there is peace in our land. We declare that, Lord Jesus, oh God, our land is flowing, oh God, not with blood, but with milk and honey in the name of Jesus. We declare that, Lord, it shall be well with Nigeria. We declare that, Lord, it shall be well with our people. We declare that, Lord, it shall be well with every state in Nigeria. Even, oh God, the capital in Abuja, we declare peace over the land. In the name of Jesus, every voice that speaks negative things against this nation, we silence it now in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We bless your name. We worship you, oh God. We adore you, Heavenly Father. Be thou exalted, oh God. Be thou magnified today in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for in Jesus' precious name, we pray. Amen. 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 The Lord bless you, Pastor. We bless God. We thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you, faithful God. We know you are God. Aside from you, there's no other. Yes, Lord, indeed, you are God that reign and rule in the affairs of men. Our God and our maker, we thank you for this day, <laughs> a day of democracy. What is it a coincidence that we came together in oneness, in one voice, calling upon you, as we hear, Lord, we see ma what sentere, ma sentere, ba, ba, ba. we say, Lord God Almighty, in practicality of your word, oh God, ha, that the church will come alive, that the church, as we have decreed, we are a body of your people. We are connected, oh God. How can it be said that one just a thousand and two just ten thousand? We are more than two, we are more than one, we are more than two, we are more than three or four. Father, we have decreed to ah uh, this hour, Kabasi Kandabu Shataya. We say, Lord God Almighty, we say the angel of death, the angel of wickedness, the angel of all forms of atrocities going on in Nigeria. We decree over them today. Let there be a change of vision for Nigeria. Let there be a change of mind. Let there be a change, oh God Almighty, for all kinds of deception in Nigeria. 
Lord God Almighty, let the heart of your people be willing, O God Almighty, to seek the will and the purpose of God for Nigeria. We have decreed it, O God Almighty. We say, so shall it be. Second Corinthians 120 says, no matter how many promises God you have made, they are yes, therefore, to all of us, in all of us at this hour, we have said yes and amen to it. Holy Spirit of God, hey, begin to implement, O God Almighty, the purpose and the will of God that we have decreed at this hour. We decree that there will be a stop, there will be an end to all forms of killings, all forms of raping activities going on in Nigeria, all kinds of hatred, all kinds of banditry, all kinds of oh God Almighty killings, those in dungeon, injustices, oh God Almighty, that are ravaging the country. We are decreed over them today. Let there be an end to them. Mm -hmm. Let righteousness, ah, let righteousness, holiness, let faith kiss each other in Nigeria from the east, west, north, south, uh, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, restore Nigeria to the forms it were in the late 80s. Oh, Makanda in the early 80s, more to say. In the early 80s, even, uh, even the very Naira was more greater than the dollars. Mighty, Almighty, how are the mighty fallen? How what? How did we get to this? Lord God Almighty, in Christ Jesus, we have asked for your forgiveness. We have asked for your mercy. We speak, O God Almighty, as you send Jonah to speak, O God Almighty, in Christ Jesus, to speak into, to speak against, to speak against every evil that was going on, O God Almighty, in Nineveh. Lord God Almighty, so we have spoken again. We have spoken against these things today, and we say, Lord God Almighty, we. We bring in your faithfulness. We bring in your mercy. We have, oh God Almighty, we have called unto you, oh God, where we have made the wrong, where we have made, where, where we have put ourselves in place of God, where we have prayed and yet we have not believed. Lord, we ask, oh God Almighty, that your own presence come and take over, that your power come and take over, that your glory overwhelm Nigeria. Let Nigeria become a place of recognition again. Every bad name, oh God Almighty, across the international boundaries that have been given to Nigeria, we reject all of them today. We say, Lord God Almighty, baptize Nigeria afresh from the east, west, north, south. Oh Lord God Almighty, every disagreement that we have, we are calling unto you, Jehovah. You are a God. The life of these people, oh God Almighty, are not even in their hand. Almighty and ever living God. Every banditry action, every occasion, every build up, every gang up, every housing in the jungle that are holding people, oh God Almighty, against their will, we begin to crumble them now. We release the angel of God. Hey, but we release the angel of God to begin to go into the jungles, to go into the, ah, Lord God Almighty, every corner and the crannies of Nigeria. Many people are held, oh God Almighty, against their will. Lord God Almighty, we release them today. We pray into the heart of those in authority. We say, Lord God Almighty, as your word rightly command us, oh God, to pray for those in authority. We pray for them that they will have a godliness, a godly mind, oh God Almighty, to do the right thing. Ah, God Almighty, let righteousness, let faith, let the holiness kiss each other in Nigeria. In the name of Jesus Christ, that the church we call unto you, O God Almighty. The church will continue to be the light that you have called us to be. The church will continue to be the sword that you have called us to be. We begin to season in places of bitterness. We begin to show light in places of darkness. Our ah, Lord God Almighty, through our testimony, even unbelievers, those in authority with wicked hearts, those in the jungle, O God Almighty, the marauders, the killers, O God, without mercy, they begin to come to change in the mighty name of Christ Jesus. We pray that the spirit of the living God we begin to enter into every news and craze of Nigeria, into the tribes, into, the, into everything that tends to divide us. Oh, God of heaven, in Christ, there's no division. Lord, we thank you that on the cross, oh, Lord God Almighty, when Jesus died in the cross, the curtain was pulled down from the top to the bottom, making way for us, to, all of everybody to come in. Lord, as many as want to come to you, oh God, we pray today that do not know how. We pray that there will be a divine connection from the four corners of the wind. Hey, they'll begin to lead even those unbelievers to Christ in the mighty name of Christ Jesus. We pray that unity, oh God Almighty, in faith, with unity in faith, they will begin to embrace Jesus as the Savior of mankind. 
Lord, we give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. You alone receive all the glory and honor in the name of Jesus Christ. We present your son, O God Almighty, Reverend Michael Tosin Oni. We present him before you, O God, who you have used to have a different perspective. When we are praying that, O God Almighty, I will say that the wicked they are fall down and die. There's no peace for the wicked. But he came in with a different mindset, O God of heaven and earth. We pray that, O God, the wickedness of, uh, of men concerning Nigeria, Lord, let there be a change. We ask that you strengthen him. You will continue to uplift him in the light of his uh, leadership, O God Almighty, with, the, with your people. Lord, strengthen him in faith, strengthen him in his own body. Let your grace, O God Almighty, continue to abide with him and uplift him, O God Almighty, him and his household and everyone within the concept of his leadership. Lord God Almighty, may your name be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Lord God Almighty. Uphold him, him and his household in their ministry. Let your presence always be there for them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pray for everyone who has been a partaker in this call, the time and season that we have called. These sons and children of Isaac, we have called this and many responded. Our Lord God Almighty, glorify your name in our lives, in our various lives, in our various activities. Lord God Almighty, we say you and you alone be magnified in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We have decreed it, we have decreed faith, we have decreed unity, we have decreed oneness, we have decreed, oh God Almighty, unity within the people of Nigeria. God, every, every wall, every line of, uh, of division, they are pulled down and scattered today and never to go in again. <laughs> Jehovah, in the mighty name of Christ Jesus. Thank you, wonderful Savior. Thank you, Lord God Almighty, for the faith that we have. Have you, the ITLA, we continue, O God Almighty, in every branch of ITLA. May your name be glorified. Thank you for our leader. Thank you, Lord, for the pioneer, your daughter that we have, O God Almighty, running this vision. As we, and many of us have supported this vision, the things of God will always come in to support us in the mighty name of Christ Jesus. Thank you, wonderful Savior. Glory and honor be unto you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit of God. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 Lord bless you, Pastor. I want to leave you with this. The Bible said, I have not called the sons of Jacob in vain. That means for you that heard the call and answer that call and participate in that call and in the mission of God, let me tell you, it is not in vain. You are depositing. There is a deposit for you in heaven. And when the time comes, like you put in your savings account and you deposit for your checkings account, there is a time that you will need it and you will withdraw. And I tell you, your withdrawal is open. You have a open check from the Lord. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep each and every one of you in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to tell you that we meet every second Saturday. We, we pray the hot spots. You know when there's fire and there's hot spots and you try to knock it down. That's what we do at this second Saturday of every month. And we are in the loving arms ministry, like our pastor had said. We meet every week. And we um, every week on our prayer line, and we meet also monthly on Zoom, praying hotspot. If you have any hotspot prayer that you want to send to agree, we, our job is to pray. Our job is to declare. Our job is to decree, like the Bible said, and heaven will make sure it is established whatsoever we decree. So just let us know. Let uh, our pastor know, Reverend Tosin wanted to thank you, you and your wife, my beautiful sister, Deborah. Thank you so much. I have come to love this couple. I love them so much. I tell Devora, I say, your husband is a gentle giant. And you guys have seen why I call him that name. The mm -hmm. Lord bless you all. Thank you for the guests that they invited. And thank you to all the um, ITLA leadership. The Lord bless you. Let's share the grace and fellowship, Pastor. The grace. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. The Lord bless you all. Bye. Thank you, Pastor. God bless you. Thank Bye. you, man of bless God. You. We are richly blessed today. You gingered us to pray like soldiers, and this Amen. declaration has come to stay. Amen. 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 Bless you all. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank Bye. You. Bye. Bye. Pastor Helen, you wanted to say something? Mm -hmm. Okay. God bless you all. Pastors, the other time I didn't <laughs> I wanted God to make sure. All right, Pastor. The Thank Lord bless you all. Goodbye. Bye.